Well, we are on Yonkers Voice today with Bags and Jackie. We are going to talk about many issues that are important to us. The reason why they are here, because to me, it's important how the young fellows, the new generation, how they see the issues that are affecting our society. But be before we go further, let me give a shout out to Las Dos Marias, located at 200 New Main Street in Yonkers. This is the place to come for the good Mexican food, mix and mingle with other people, make new friends, have a drink, come on Taco Tuesdays, have some tacos, Wednesday through Sunday, music, DJ, karaoke. This is the place to come and have fun. And don't forget, guys, to support our local restaurants and local business. So let's move on. Now, it's important to have Jackie and Bags to talk about how they see issues in our society, specifically Yonkers. And we are going to start with mental illness. Jackie, what makes you, a young person, address such an important issue? I myself uh, suffer from mental illness. I was diagnosed with depression and anxiety at um, nine years old, and I lost two cousins to um, mental illness. And I wanted to bring awareness to it, start a support group in Yonkers, let people talk about you know, how they feel, the emotions that they're feeling, and let them know that if they do have a mental illness or a mental condition, that it's okay to talk about it, and you're not gonna be judged about it. Like, it's normal. Now, before we go much further, I'm going to ask you guys, the audience, a special favor. This is the type of interviews that I wish all of you would share. Forget about the negative stuff that happens on the streets of Yonkers. This is the things that you should share. Please share it. Remember, Yonkers Voice is not my voice, it's your voice. Yonkers Voice is the platform where you can come and talk about the things that are important to you the things that you want to voice your opinion on, the things that you want to change. But before you change anything, you have to change yourself. So I always tell people, be the change you want to see. Be the change. Now, Bags, what about you? Um, I suffer from bipolar disorder. I have anxiety, I have depression. Um, like, what, what was the question again so I can what the, what the, the question is, what makes you get involved in something like that? Okay. Why do you feel strong about the subject? Oh, I, I, feel, I, I feel strong about the subject because it's, 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 very, it's very important. Like you said, the violence. Some people, you know, they into this violence because they don't understand their mental health. They don't understand their mental illness. And that's, that's the cause of the violence. Like me, like, sometimes I prevent myself from violence because of my, my, my mental illness. It, it makes me think makes me think violent, like, like me, uh, the way I want to respond to certain things, I think violently, and, and, and a lot of people, you know, that are just like me too, think violently, but they respond, me, I, I, I don't respond, and, and um, bring out the action within, that's within my mind, a lot of people do, and this is why, you know, there's a lot of things that's going on in the world, so it, it's, it's very important to me to address it, and to let people know, to acknowledge it, you have to acknowledge it. For, for you to get help and to see what's going on, you have to acknowledge it and be real and be honest with yourself. So, you know, that's, what, that's why it's important to me. Yes, I think honesty, it, it's very important. For you to fix or, or seek help, you first have to accept that you have a problem, mm -hmm. okay? You have to have a problem. But then you also need the people around you to support you on that problem. Absolutely. So, how important it is, and the question goes for any one of you, how important is it for a family, for those who surround you, to understand you and help you? Because sometimes, they might see that you need help, you might say, I don't need help, I'm okay, but the people outside of your circle says, you need help. And sometimes they don't, they just leave you alone. How important it is to have support? It's, 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 it's very important, because like you said, like my mental health song, I addressed, you know, I had my mom and my father speaking in the intro of my mental health song, and it was basically saying that you need some help, and you know, I was I was overlaying it, saying that I don't need no help because that's how, because that's that was the real conversation. They was always telling me to go get some help. I'm like, I don't need no help because I never I never really addressed the problem as a young kid. So I grew up my whole life 
with this behavior, so it was normal to me. And to that one, that one day I had a breaking point, and I'm like, man, yo, you know, I started thinking about all my backlashes. I started thinking about all the moments that I was spazzing out and stuff like that. I said, you know what? I give in. I'm gonna go get some help, and you know, and I'm glad I did that. And you did. And how did you <coughs> get some help? Where um, did you go? I, I went. To, I was in Connecticut at the time, so I went to Mike St. Vincent Hospital down in Connecticut, and you know, it was a it, it was a uh, good hospital. They treated me good. They treated everybody good. So you know. Did that help you? Yeah, definitely. It, it definitely did help me. It, it made it, it made me do what I'm doing now. So and the reason I'm asking if it that helped you is because lots of people around us, friends of ours, are afraid to seek help. Because they are afraid that now they're going to have a record saying that they had mental issues. Now they're afraid that they might not be able to get a job. Or if they have a job, they are, might be afraid that they might get fired from the job because of the, the, mental, illness. the mental illness. So it's not just us and our support. It's also the society, community, that should pay attention and don't retaliate because you seek mental health. Right. How do you feel about that, Jackie? I agree 100%. I feel the community, you know, especially Yonkers in itself, anybody who's suffering or anybody who needs to reach out about their mental illness or mental condition, if their family's telling them, I think you need help, look into that, look into getting help. Um, there's different resources that people can use, you know, to get the help. So. Well, Jackie, you have a whole bunch of people here supporting you already. You have, yes, that's my baby, Jen Jennifer Grassi Vasquez, uh, Ashley Pena, uh, Camille Ot Otanes, saying this is the right thing to do. Now, in Yonkers, if we, you, me, if we have a problem, do we have a place where we can go invent our problem, seek help? Should we have more? Do we have social, enough social workers that we can reach to and say, look, I'm in crisis, okay? I don't know what to do. The worst thing just came to my mind. I want to do it, but I don't want to do it. Do we have places where we can seek help? I don't, I don't know any places, um, to, be, to be honest with you, um, besides like the centers and stuff like that. Um, but that's why I created this Team Moody movement because, you know, I, I feel that the people who suffer from mental illness, like us, they need young people to speak up. They don't need, like, I think, they, they, I think when they look at the adults, it's like when you're in school, you look at the teachers, you know, they don't really respect, they, I don't know, they just look at it different. But when you see somebody that's from the streets, that's from their environment speak up, I think it's more attractive to them. It, and, and you got to give it a unique approach. You got to come with a different approach. You don't want to come with the same basic standard approach to mental health. You want to come attack it differently, whether it's through merch, whether it's through music, whether it's through, you know, doing activities and, and, and people could relate to us more because we the ones who with it, not the, uh, not the, uh, uh, the um, like social workers. Social workers. They had, we the ones who with it. You feel it. Yeah, they just try to help you. Yeah, you that's are the it. One that has so we can we can talk to the people who suffer, uh, and they can relate to us more. And that's why I have like this team movie chat room, and everybody we always check in with each other, and it, and it helps a lot of people. And and also like with through my merch and and me being the um, the forefront, it's making other people embrace it more. And like you know what, I suffer from it too, man. I, I like what you're doing, and it makes the people feel comfortable to come out their shell and say it because they see somebody else doing it. You gotta normalize it. I like what you do. And we check on each other every day. Yeah. I like it. so you have a support group that support each other, that will listen to each other without passing any judgments. Absolutely, right. and we're all there to listen. To listen. Now guys, by the end of the day, we're going to have thousands of people who watch this interview. And maybe in a few minutes, I would ask all of you. If you know or if you know of any resources where people can seek help, people can uh, call when they are in crisis, please share it on this thread. Share your resources. Because sometimes things that might be very simple to you might not be as simple to me if I'm in a crisis. I, I don't think logically. I don't know what should I do. I am not rational. But when I am and I'm reading it, 
I will know where to go if I'm seeking help. Now, in a little while, we're going to talk about Bag's um, group and what the, it's the intent of that group and what's the goal and what they try to achieve. Now, what about you, Jackie? Have you ever seek? Have you ever been treated? You told me about family members that have suffered or do suffer for mental illness. You personally, have you been in any kind of uh, medical setting where they treated you? I was, and where I went, it was not a good experience. They treat you like a prisoner. Um, it's this dark room. You have a bed with somebody next to you. You're not even allowed to like say a word to them because then they think you know you're crazy. You guys are talking about something, and you know you even go to ask for a cup of ice, and they're like, sit down, sit down. So it's like they treat you as if you're you're bad, and you're not. Like you're depressed and you're seeking help. You know, when you have a mental illness and you're seeking help, you're not there because you're trying to harm yourself. You're seeking the best help that you can get. And mental illness is so underrated. And people don't look at mental illness the way that they should. Well, I'm not a doctor, okay? And I cannot say that whatever they're doing is wrong. It might be, it might be because you're there because you're stressed out. You're there because you're having a problem. You're there because you're having a crisis. And if you are treated that way, that crisis, that stress increases tenfold. So maybe we need to change the way people are treated when they seek help. Right. What do you think, Bex? What, to change the way? To change the way people are treated. Like what Jackie just said. Yeah, to, yeah, to me, love is understanding. All, all we want is like some understanding. You don't have to, not, you don't have to actually agree with everything. But I, there's a lot of things I don't agree with. With people, but I always give them that understanding. Like I understand, but I don't agree. You know, you just like people just want to be understood. You know, and on, on why they do what they do, and you know that's what I that, that's how I feel about it. Now, in this group that you have, and I, I know that you also working with bags or bags is working with you. You both working towards the same common goal. Right. Mm -hmm. You have one goal: having a group where people can come, share the experience, talk about their problems, talk about their crisis. Right. Because right. very often. All we need is someone to listen to right. us. Right. Right. Somebody that we can hug and say, I'm with you, brother. I'm with you, sister. Right. Stay strong. What's the age group, Max or Jackie? Is people from a certain age to a certain age, it's older people? Yeah, it's older people. All the people. But it, it really starts at a young age. Right. Because you know that's how it develops. And you and you have to give you gotta put notoriety to it at the young age so it don't so it don't become worse. So like you gotta understand how to deal with your illness. A lot of people don't. A lot of people don't know how to deal with the illness because they recognize it at a later point in their life. But you know, I think that if treatment comes our way early enough, we could prevent lots of the things that we see on today's news: mass killings, mass this, mass that. Because we only address those issues strongly after a major crisis. Right. Uh, I have spoken to uh, some moms that had uh, the young kids suffering from mental illness. And what they told me was, does my son need to do something really bad in order to get the treatment that he needs? Or maybe he will jump from a roof and he will get no treatment whatsoever. And that's what we're trying to avoid doing our groups. Exactly. So you just told me earlier that you had a few friends that, uh, unfortunately, they uh, took their own lives. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to talk about that because we want to keep this interview on a positive, positive note. But at the same time, we cannot hide the truth. And we want to talk a little bit about that because that way, if I have a friend that might show in signs, even though he might not tell me, I, I think I'm thinking about jumping from the building, but maybe there is some keywords that I should pay attention to that give me an inclination on what his intentions are. Right. Please share that experience. So, um, with having lost two of my cousins to mental illness, um, I reached out to an organization called the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, and I'm also going to work with another um, organization called NAMI Westchester. So that's the National Alliance of Mental Illness in Westchester. Um, and the support group that I'm going to be starting is mainly for um, like suicide prevention and things like that, having lost um, my cousins. 
but I've done a lot of training to tell people like you're not alone in this, here are the signs to look out for. Um, if they tell you they're not okay or if they're talking about, oh, I have a gun unlocked in my house, this is what I'm, you know, so I'm not trying to give anybody ideas, but you know what I'm saying? Like it's, mental illness is very, very underrated and that's what I'm trying to bring to light is that, that mental illness should not be underrated because there are people like Bags and I who suffer from it and I say that I'm not my disease. Like I'm not my mental illness. Like I'm not my depression, I'm not my anxiety. No, guys. I will post on this thread that you guys are now commenting the national number for suicide prevention. And once again, I ask you to please share this interview. This is the stuff that you should be sharing. Things that can help our community. Things that will have something really bad from happening. happening. Maybe we won't be able to, to prevent too much, but if we can save one life, then we succeeded. So share the positive. Share the point of view from our generation, younger generation. It's important that we share this, that we, we get knowledge of how things go, what, where the signs are, how to talk to them. Because sometimes just talking is not enough. Sometimes we need to know how to talk to people who are suffering from mental illness. We need to learn how to address the problem without them feeling more stressed about it. So it's important, and that's what we're trying to, to do here now. See how they see it. How would they like to be addressed to when they are in crisis? Bags, if a kid is in, in crisis, a kid, an, a, an adult, whoever, how should we address it? I know that you're not a doctor either, but you've been on that side of the spectrum. How should we address it? Um, I, I just know that it's all about getting by day by day. You know, every day is like a fight, you know what I'm saying? And you just want to survive that, that, that day, you know, because like any, any, any day, any moment, it can, you can, it can slip like that. Like your, your mind could go elsewhere and then you, then you could be just be going from suicide or whatever and just fall into a deep hole. So like, I, I, to, to, to be honest, I don't, um, I don't know how to address it, you know, like to me to me it's just by like a, a person just gotta do it do it on their own because like like with me like I can get a lot of help but it's still really up to me. With with that help I still can fall apart. So that's how serious it is. Like this mental world is serious, man. But my like, question is yes, I understand it, but my question is more from my side. You and I are friends and I see that you are having a crisis. Even though right. you didn't tell me that you are in a crisis, but right. I can feel that you are yeah. in a crisis. How should I approach you? Because I'm asking okay. you this because okay. maybe I approach you in a wrong way and I might aggravate right, instead right. of helping you. So how should I approach you? Should I approach you, listen, man, you can do it. Or should I approach you in a more mellow way? How it would it be? I'm trying to get oh, just, a way that people understand if they have family members hey, suffering. How should they address? Hey, it? what's 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 going on? Uh, you want you want to uh, step out? You want to like you want to go wanna go on a ride? You know, like that's usually how my friend you know Noetic does with me when I'm down, whatever. Like that, you like yo, you want to come with me on this drive? Like like just just talk, you know, vent. Yeah. What about you, Jackie? How do you see it? I see it the same way, you know. Uh, friends reaching out, um, hey, do you want to come talk about some things? I'm here to listen. It's all a matter of who you have around you to support you and help you. And if you have your close family and your, you know, and your close friends, I feel like if they're telling you, like I said, if you need help, like, or hey, I think you need to go and get some help, I think it'll be good, you know, I'm here to support you, I'm your friend, I'm your family, I think that's when the person should take that into consideration, like, hey, I might actually have to go and get help. Should a friend or a family member ever pick up that phone and call that suicide line and say, listen, my friend is in crisis. Yeah, definitely. Yes. I'm Absolutely. afraid that my friend might do something and I need some help now. This is what, where we are. Even though that friend might not like what you did, but your goal is not what that friend might like at that moment. Your right. goal is save that friend at that moment. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. How you see it? I, like me, like me. If, if someone was to do that for me, I wouldn't get upset. 
You know, if I'm about to take my life away and somebody try to save me, I would get upset because I like. I, Number one, I'm an understanding person. I understand everything. Honestly. You wouldn't get upset today no. because you're here and you're stable and you're calm. Yeah. But when we are in crisis, all that is out of the window. Okay, we see things differently. Maybe we don't want no one to stop us. Maybe we want to just do whatever we want to do to end it all. But I think that ending it all is not the answer. So my question is more how your friend wants to see. Your friend, you might be upset with your friend, with what am I about to do? But should I care at that, at that moment, or should I call anyway? Because my goal now is to save you, not what you think about what I am going to do. No, yeah, definitely. Call anyway. Call anyway. Yeah. Now, you both working on a project, mm -hmm. uh, uh, a workshop, I guess, but instead of me describing what the workshop is, I'm going to let you two describe it. What's the goal, what's the intent, what you're trying to achieve? So, okay. Um, I'm going to do a, you know, the support group for the suicide prevention or whatever. He's going to um, also be in to support, come in whenever I need him. We're always there to help. Um, yeah, to well, well, well we, both, we both have different roles, but we both support each other. Our roles and we're and both helping like each other out. Yeah, yeah. So my role is my my role is to to my whole agenda is to embrace it, normalize it, um, make people feel more comfortable, or, or, or just to make people feel like man, there's there's people out there like me. There's there's people that I can talk to. Like because like like I said, a lot of people come to me, man. It, I feel like a, a big brother to them, you know. And um, yeah, I, I I just see, I just seeing that it's it's becoming a standpoint now. Mental health is becoming, you know, it's, it's rising up. I see a lot of people acknowledging it and respecting it now, you know. So, if someone wants to know more about it, if somebody is in crisis or has been in crisis or recognizes that they have a problem, how would I reach you guys? Do you have a, a social platform? Do you have yeah. a website? I have an Instagram that they can um, Please tell follow. Them what? So my Instagram handle is going to be Jacqueline Marcia. It's J A C Q U E L I N E E, and then M A R C I A. That's how you guys can reach me. And then I am also going to be making a separate page for the group once I get the group started. My my platform is on Facebook and Instagram. It's going to be Moody Bags Bags with a Z B A G Z, and then you know I have the um, the Moody merch page, and we also working on our YouTube channel called Team Moody. It's going to basically be a group of everybody that's you know under Team Moody, and that's so for mental illness. And we're going to be doing interviews, public interviews, and we're going to be doing documentaries on mental health. But guys, until then, until those two groups get off the ground, because you know sometimes it takes a little time to organize, structure it, and get it going. That does not mean that you don't have any help out there. If you feel that you are in crisis, if you feel that you need help, call St. Joseph's Hospital Mental Illness Department or ask for the Mental Illness Department and ask for help. And when they are ready to go on, I'm sure they're going to let us know on Yonkers Voice. We will gladly publish that because we are very interested in helping the community especially things that are of importance. But now let's move into something else, okay? We spoke about mental illness, you know, and I think they understand, but I also want to know how you guys see our city, uh, things that affect our society, the positive, the negative, the bad, whose fault it is when a lot of negativity it's all over the internet, all over the news, all over Yonkers' voice. What should we do? What can we do? What, 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 what can we do far as like preventing like all of this stuff? Change the mindset. Look, uh, let me put it to you this way. Yonkers' voice, we, had, we got a flashback. And not very positive. In the sense of, oh, you guys only publish negativity. You only care about the negativity. You only cover the accidents, the shooting, the stabbings. And I tell people, that's not so. We don't share that more than once. You are the ones sharing that all over the place. 
you don't share the positive. And I'm going to challenge you. At the end of this interview, let's see how many of you share this interview. This is a positive interview. This is something that we want to go everywhere. This is what we want you to put on your walls, ask your friends to put on their walls, and so and so on. So people can learn about the positive stuff that you guys are doing, other groups are doing. Are you a, an artist, a, a, a writer, or whatever? You're doing good stuff? Get in touch with us. That same energy that you have to call me about the negative, have the, that very same energy to tell us about the positive. That's what I'm talking no, about. No, yeah, definitely. I, I've been on, like I said, I've been on Yankee's voice a few times. I, I did a, I recited a poem, I did a poem at the Yankee's Pair, and I also, you know, did uh, an interview with him when I was, um, you know, when African American bucket hat, and I was talking about our community and stuff like that, you know. None of that stuff got like shit. Like you, you, you. The reason why y'all probably feel that that's all he, um, that's all he covers is because that's all y'all promote. Mm -hmm. you, 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 you understand what I'm saying? So like, you, you know. But we all know that 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 violence is always, you know, violence is is always the key. It's, it's always in the forefront. So it's it's not about that's all, that's all he covers is that violence gets the most promotion. Mm -hmm. Promotion by you. You the one promoter. I just let you know what's happening on the streets of Yonkers. Bags, Jackie called me about this. Jackie, when you called me, what was my answer to you? When you're ready, let me know and we'll set up an interview. And, and, and to be honest, he does he shows more positivity than any other news channel, channel as well, or whatever like that. They they the ones who show all the violence and stuff like that. And, 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 and um really put put that into your minds and stuff. So guys, if you have positive stories, if you want to share what's going on in a positive way, things that are happening out there, let us know. Reach out. Again, but I have to make it clear that we cannot cover every single thing, because it's only me doing all the coverage, so I have then to right. select what's most important for the community. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I might have something already scheduled. That's for example, today. If somebody was to call me that there is a group of kids singing somewhere, I wouldn't be able to go because I'm here. So then I have to select. Now, Bags, anything else that you want to share, you want to talk about it with the community that you think needs to be, uh, community needs to know or be aware of it? Or you, Jackie? Um, like I said, man, just, you know, just, just address your issues, man. Be real with yourself. Check yourself, check yourself in. You know, just, you know, just get your mental right, that's all. Jackie, you want to last your thoughts? Um, yeah, exactly what Bag said, um, that, and once we're ready to get our groups going, right. um, if you guys follow us and, you know, share us, everything like that, reach out to us and we'll let you know when the groups are going to start. I just need to find a place and then the group will get yeah. up and going. So if you have like a family member that you know that suffers from mental illness or, or friends, just send them this way. Yep, because we can provide the resources and the numbers for anybody that needs. Now, one thing that, since many of you are watching, if you know of any place, a center, a community center, that would make the space available for this group to go there maybe once a week, maybe twice a week, maybe from six to eight, I'm sure that they will be able to work whatever works for you Please get in touch with them, get in touch with us. We will make, put you in contact with them. Help us help you. Okay? Appreciate it. And guys, once again, Yonka's voice is not my voice. Yonka's voice is the platform where your voice can yeah, be heard. That's, that's why it's called Yonka's voice. Right. Everybody in the uh, town. You know, so 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 just just like we using our voice because we from Yonkers. So we go on Yonka's voice to voice our to voice our opinions. Yep. Okay? And so you know, the reason why we're here is because for many, many, many years, we felt that Yonkers did not have a platform where the people of Yonkers could come, speak about what was important to them, voice their opinions. News 12 wouldn't come around, fires wouldn't come around, but now Yonkers voice will come around. And just, and just like how he made that statement, and that's how I feel about Team Moody, and, and, and us, like, the new mental health movement. There's a lot of mental health 
centers or whatever like that, they not coming around just like Channel 12. So we gonna be that new that that new movement where you could come, voice your opinion, and you can tell your stories the same way he's uh, providing a platform for us. We gonna uh, provide a platform for y'all. Yep. So guys, please share Yonka's voice. Ask your friends to join Yonka's voice. This is the place where you see things raw and real how it happens. This is the place where you can talk to the community and you can know exactly how they think, how they feel, and they can translate that to you. No sugar coating anything. It is what you see. That's why our articles are very short. When, where, what time, and what we see. And we do this for you. In conclusion, thank you to both of you. you. Now I'm going to tell you guys a little secret. Jackie, was very nervous in the beginning of the interview, <laughs> but she's relaxed now. The message came across. I think they heard us. Yeah. Now I wish you both the best. Thank and when so the much. center is open, let me know so I can go there and show the product and where people can go if they are in crisis. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you, you so both. much.